I did need to be an airshow pilot in the early 70s with a lot of passion, not a great deal of skill or talent. And um, I crashed that first bit. I bought it in 1970. I flew my first airshow in 1976. I crashed in 1979, and I lost my dream. I bailed out of this airplane, dumbass, and if I had enough beer to, to tell you the whole story, you'd go, yeah, he was a dumbass. Um, and then so that when I, when I, I had this opportunity to get my dream back, and have enough money to get another pit, um, I joined the IC and I did it right. That was in 1986 or 85. And because of the, my friends from the IAC who mentored me, my heroes from the IAC that gave me reverence, is the reason I'm successful today in, in this um, endeavor called Airshow Flying. And without the IAC, and I tell everybody, I tell everybody, if you're gonna play this game on this level and fly in the arena, and you're gonna thrill and, and Share the magic of flight, we, what we love. Be an IAC member first. And I don't care what category you fly in, get 75% or better because I'm gonna tell you the champions don't die in the air show business. IAC champions don't die. They fly with passion, they fly with discipline, they fly with commitment. The most important thing they do is we, as I see members fly with reverence. And that's what makes it so magnificently beautiful. And that's why we have, and the FAA allows us to dance in the sky. And for to do it in a biplane, number one, I think monoplanes are for sissies. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just really do. I'm sorry. All my friends, there's one guy here. Bob, what are you flying? Every plane. Side as well. Bill Finnegan's not going to the dark side. Tim Joss went to the dark side. <laughs> Shame on you, Tim Joss. <laughs> but yesterday, yesterday, did you watch Sammy Mason fly? Did you watch that kid fly and pay $12,500 for his airplane? And a dream? And a father who helped him and he lives at the airport and he put that thing together? And EAA allowed, because he's an IAC member, he, he scored well in advanced category. Because that kid fly like the wind? Yeah. He's one of us. He's one of us. You know, and, and, and my belief is, I, you know, the air show business, you know, my son retired out of the air show business, so I said, yeah. But if I got people in this, coming into this business, I want to hold them and cherish them and nurture them and mentor them like my friends, like Leo and Charlie and Mike and everybody who helped me in this business stay alive so we don't make those critical mistakes. We're in charge of Sam, every single one of us. This is what's so cool about what IAC represents, that early fraternity of brotherhood that you can trust them. I remember my first contest, and I was too good to fly sportsman because yeah. I was too good. And when I, when I was in last place in intermediate, I sure wanted to be in sportsman. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, I couldn't do a round loop because I didn't learn how. I forgot, I didn't get the basics. But, but because of my friends and my IAC chapter, and oh, by the way, uh, I am now current on my IAC membership because Miss Debbie Red. <laughs> Competition and I'm gonna fly, and I'm gonna fly intermediate, baby. And I'm never moving up. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm so. Uh, you too? Yes. <laughs> but but it, this honor that I'm, I'm receiving from this community is really important to me because these are where my heroes are. And this is where my heart is, and, and because it's it's just so soulful. You guys are, are, are the fuel to the passion of so many people to allow people into this arena and allow them to do it safely. Our safety record is magnificent, the, and you're right, the, the friendship and the bonds that you have and developed and the discipline 
and the commitment to excellence is magnificent. And so it's an all, I'm, I'm very honored and I feel very blessed to have so many friends that are IEC members. So let's have a, I get to fly one more day tomorrow. I want to do the best I can in my biplane, thanks to Curtis Pitts, thanks to Steve Wolf, thanks to Tony Horvath. I don't know how many biplanes I have. This is the third iteration of this end number 260 Hotel Papa. And I have a couple at my school, and people say, you know, we have two extras and two biplanes, and they go, what? I know, I know. And, and, I, and we charge a lot more for the extras, thinking, and I said, don't fly. You know, the extras are great, but they're too easy. So they, she wants, she's a ballerina, you know? She wants to do the waltz and that pretty stuff. When you get dancing with a biplane, you're, you're hanging with a biker girl. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>